first time the trailer of Jalsa. Well, that was a gripping trailer, wasn't it, ladies and gentlemen? And if you liked it as much as I do, I think you should let us know by giving them, the entire team, a big, big round of applause. Come on, let's begin this day on an energetic note. I have so many questions I want to tell you, but we're going to be getting all those answers on the 18th of March. So save the date, block your calendars, because Jalsa, one of the most awaited films, releases on Amazon Prime Video on the 18th of March 2022. Once again, a warm welcome to everyone present here. All our friends and family members of the media, press, and the digital world are here. Today is a very, very special occasion for all of us. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, that we all immerse ourselves into the world of Jalsa. And to do that, exactly that, it is important for me to welcome on stage the two leading ladies, two potent performers of this generation to powerhouses of talent. It is truly my pleasure and my honor to introduce on this stage the effervescent Vidya Balan and the supremely talented Shefali Shah. Hi, 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 hi everyone. Oh my God. <laughs> so At a live me. event after two years, I have to say this, sorry Bhavna, but it feels so good. And thank you all for coming. Hi guys, hi everyone. Yes, like Vidya said, feels so good to actually be amongst people yeah. rather than just behind a screen. Just gonna take the mic. Sure. So sorry. Hi Shapali. Hi Vidya. It's hi. not black and white here, but it's completely shades <laughs> of grey. I have to say on the screen in the trailer that we just saw. But uh, we're gonna have a lot more time to talk about that next. I'd like to invite the man with the magic behind the camera, the man who makes the magic come alive on screen. Please put your hands together for director Suresh Triveni. hits uh, from the house of Abundantia and Amazon Prime Video. So what is your secret sauce for putting together one blockbuster movie after the other? One part amazing director, 200 grams of a great story and a kg each of fantastic actors. There is no secret sauce. It starts with uh, a director's vision and everything flows from there. Uh, we are just incredibly proud and honored to partner with such amazing talent and keep partnering again and again with Amazon Prime Video um, to tell the kind of stories that we want to add abundant share entertainment to the world and the love and acclaim and appreciation we receive just motivates us to keep doing more. Fantastic. Next one is to Mr. Manish. In the past, this whole combination of Abundantia and uh, Vidya Balan have certainly been working magic on the streaming platform, uh, Shakuntala Devi or Sherni. So what can people expect from Jalsa? 
I think we're going to surprise people once again. And uh, there are a couple of reasons why I believe this is going to be another, you know, gem in the, in the mix here. Uh, the first is I think we share a, a common vision between Abundantia and Amazon Prime Video to tell very compelling and nuanced stories. Uh, these are local characters, local stories, and we've always believed, you know, the more genuine and the more compelling a story and the more, um, you know, rooted a story is, the more global we can make it. And, and that's what we're here to do. You know, we, we truly believe this is a story that's going to become global and drive conversation around the world. The third thing is, uh, I think, again, uh, you know, uh, the direction with uh, Suresh, I, I, again, I'm, I'm a big fan and uh, this is another one that's going to, you know, be keeping us at the edge of our seats. Uh, and last but not the least, like the cast with Shifali and with Vidya. I, I, I mean, we could have not dreamed of a, of a better team and, you know, here it is. And we are super, super thrilled, you know, to take this story uh, to the world. Fantastic. Like you said, think local, act global is truly your mantra for secret. And uh, that's the secret of success. But moving forward, actually picking off from whatever you said, my next question is uh, to Mr. Suresh. How did you pull off this coup? Two of the finest actors of this generation coming together, sharing screen space for the very first time, Vidya and Shefali. You pulled the rabbit out of the hat. Talk to us. Uh, made Tumari Sulu in 2017. Okay, so five years have to be worth it. Uh, all I wanted, I realized that uh, you have fantastic actors, then your story will only look better. Vidya, I got spoiled working on Tumhari Sulu and uh, I was very sure that I'm going to work with her the next time. And then, I st of course, I was always uh, Shefali's fan then started a work and then all my process starts with what if. I'm not this uh, born cinephile or something. For me, it's mostly like uh, what if. That's where a story starts. And then I said to myself, Vidya Balan, Shef Ali Shah. Shef Ali Shah, Vidya Balan. Sounds like a plan. Let's write a story. So that's how it happened. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, absolutely. No, but the fact that you managed to convert that plan into reality is amazing. Uh, uh, my bread and butter still lies in advertising. I sell. <laughs> no, it, it was a dream come true. In fact, uh, it was one of the most smoothest process per se, minus the pandemic and all of that. But uh, both of them were very, very warm to the script. And uh, I did con them and just got into the process because I knew that you can make movies, but can we make some good memories and go into history? And the best way to go is having some two living legends out here in my film. What better can I expect, man? That's, that's that. Movies, memories, and magic. That's what we all live for, right? Shafali, I have to say for everybody here as well and all your fans across the world that if there's one actor who can talk without using words, talk only with her eyes, it is you. Thank you. Tell us about Ruxana. She seems to be somebody who has pretty much nothing to lose, but is really struggling to make ends meet. Yet, she seems to have a very powerful soul. What sort of attracted you, you to her? Uh, well, when Suresh uh, called me and he gave me a one line of it, he sent me the script immediately. It was a working draft. And uh, I read it the very same evening. And I spoke to him the next morning and I said yes. Uh, it's uh, it, uh, there was it was a no-brainer really uh, it was just so beautiful and I could see so much potential in the film and uh, not doubting my director at all I've been a huge fan of Suresh's work but just there were so many nuances and layers and just the conversation with Suresh I knew that he could see through all of them and he could sense through all of it Ruxana is, uh, in fact, I don't see her someone who's trying to make ends meet. I see her very comfortable in her place. She's aspirational. Uh, she has a very strong point of view to a point of being stuck at times. And uh, she wants to make her aspirations come true for her kids. And like any other mother, she's fiercely protective about them. And like you very correctly said, she has nothing to lose. So yeah, that's what Ruxana is. 
Fantastic. We really can't wait to watch your magic come alive on screen. And next, one of my absolute favorites, Vidya Bhalan. Uh, I just have to say that every single role you take, you push boundaries, not just for actors, but also for women across the world, proving every single time that only you can pull off such characters with such ease and aplomb. Ladies and gentlemen, a strong round of applause for a national award winner right here with us. <laughs> Vidya, talk to us about Maya. Your character seems to have shades of grey. Uh, yes, you know, which is why if I may say so, the first time Suresh narrated the script to me, I loved it. But I said, I can't do it. I didn't have the guts. <laughs> you know, then the pandemic happened and something changed. I think it changed all of us uh, in a very deep way, in ways that we don't even understand. And then one day when I was having a chat with Suresh and he told me he's reworked that script, we were just talking generally. And I said, I'd like to hear it again. I knew I wanted to do it now, but I didn't want to tell him that in case, you know, I just wanted to read it again and be sure. And I read it and I said, okay, I'm on. Because, you know, um, I've had the good fortune of playing beautiful characters throughout my career, but I think this is the first time, like you said, I get to delve into the gray. And I think I was willing to embrace the gray in me, which is why I could do this. And, um, you know, who better to do it than Suresh? Because I, I, could, I would trust Suresh <laughs> blindfolded if he told me it's up to Raat hai, I would believe him. <laughs> you know, uh, which is why I think um, I'm, I'm th there's a lot more I want to say, but you'll have seen the trailer and hopefully you'll have liked it. You know, we didn't quite hear the reactions backstage. How did you like the trailer? Love it. Only one person has loved it. <laughs> No, we need to hear some tali, yeah. Come on. Two years later, we're out of here. We're all out of here. No, thank you. But it's, it's a fascinating, it's a very gripping uh, drama with elements of thrill. And I can't wait for everyone to watch it. I'm just, I'm just super thrilled that I'm part of this. And I got to work with Shefali uh, for the first time. Someone whose work I've loved and admired forever. And you'll have to take the mic out of my hand now because otherwise I'm just going to <laughs> <laughs> keep going on. No, no, we'd love to uh, hear you talk as always. Um, uh, thank you for your kind words. No, no, uh, hold on to that mic because it is time for me to open the floor for some uh, question and answers. We have our volunteers who will pass on the mic to you if you'll just raise your hands. Um, it would be great if you can give us your name in the publishing house or the brand that you represent before posting your question so that and as well, thank you. Hello, Lipika, I didn't hear you say you liked the trailer. <laughs> oh, I said, I said, yeah, yeah, I liked it. I clapped, but... thank you. Kahani and uh, be it Sherni, you know, you exuberantly perform every character. This one, as you said, it's grey. I also feel it is a complex... Uh, character, you're doing it and very intense, you're doing it for the first time. What do you have to say? It? Yeah, I think uh, it is different from any character I've played before this because uh, you, it's not easy to read Maya. She's quite, uh, what's the word? She's, um, you just don't get a sense of who she is really. She's very withdrawn, she's very reserved, she's very, very confident woman, but you don't know what's going on inside her mind, so you're absolutely right about the complexity and the intensity. And uh, that's the joy to explore a character which is akin to nothing I've done before. You know, um, I love, I love exploring different facets of human, um, of the human personality and human behavior and I got a lovely chance in this one. Two women carrying the, you know, film on their shoulders. It seems great. And uh, do you agree, grey cells? For, uh, do, <laughs> do I agree, great cells? Grey. Grey? Yours is grey okay. character. <laughs> Firstly, I want to say that, <laughs> yes, there are two women carrying this film, but... Or can't take it akkar hogi, dono ne, mein, mashallah, bahut badhiya. Inshallah. <laughs> But there are also, you know, if not for Vikram Malhotra, there would 
be no jalsa and uh, you know a big thank you to him for uh, jalsa and i've i've done shakuntala and sherni with abandon cha again but i have to say we did our film kahani together release 10 years ago on this date so it's very very special but so i think it's it's team effort i i see this as a human story and not just about a story helmed by two women it is it this you know these two women could have been men but importantly it's i'm i'm glad he wrote it with two women and with shefali and me in mind <laughs> no complaints there but i think gray is uh, you asked me if gray sells um gray sells yes <laughs> anybody else with a question yeah yes ma'am hi hi everyone very very happy women's day vidya shefali and bhavna because thank we you. celebrate women's day every day it yes, was not just yesterday yes thank you to you too <laughs> thank you thank you so much uh, i am pooja saman by the way let me introduce you uh, i would like to ask vidya uh, usually you are each film carries a social message and social relevance i saw this trailer is very much engaging loved it and congratulations to all of you but thank you please tell us let me know ki what is that thing that social relevance and social message we can see in this film you know uh, there's never an attempt to put out a message par agar film dekhne ke baad aapko laga ki acha maybe there's a layer that you relate to or connect with that's a bonus for us we are just telling a story about people um and that's what it is so you know hopefully you'll get some something that i'm i'm not going to call it a message ya aapke dil ko chhu jaye bas yehi ummeed karte hain nahi nahi lekin agar isi main bhavna ya main bhavna sharma nav bharat agar isi is ka jo trailer hai wo dekha jaye jo shefali ji ka character hai agar hum antarrashtriya mahila divas ya international women's day ki baat kare to isme sirf Uh, वो औरतें नहीं हैं जिन्होंने लड़ाई ऊपर की यानी शबाना आदमी जी हो या आ, मीरा नायर हो इसमत चुगताई हो या फिर महाश्वेता देवी इसमें वो औरतें भी थीं जो रोटी की लड़ाई के लिए सड़कों पे उतर आई पोलैंड में अमेरिका में बहुत ऐसी औरतें थीं तो जो शेफाली जी का कैरेक्टर है जब वो बोलता है वो बोलती है कि तो मुलगी थी तो क्या उसको ठोक देंगे तो जो वो औरत है उसको आपका जो कैरेक्टर है माया उसको जरूरत नहीं है अपनी चीजों की पैरवी करवाने की लेकिन वो जो कैरेक्टर है जो शेफाली जी ने प्ले किया है उसको उस उन औरतों को ऊपर लाने के लिए या उनको इक्वल बनाने के लिए जो अपने हक के लिए लड़ सके उसके लिए इस फिल्म में क्या है शेफाली आई थिंक सबके लिए इस फिल्म में कुछ ना कुछ है ना सिर्फ उस तरह की औरत के लिए ना सिर्फ रुखसाना जैसी औरतों के लिए ना माया जैसी औरतों के लिए हम सब के लिए ये फिल्म है यू नो हाँ इन दो किरदारों के द्वारा ये कहानी कही गई है पर आ, मैं मानती हूँ कि इस कहानी से सब कनेक्ट कर पाएंगे और ना सिर्फ इस देश में पर दुनिया भर में इसीलिए वी आर सो हैप्पी टू बी पार्टनरिंग विथ Amazon Prime Video क्योंकि दो देशों में ये फिल्म लोग देख पाएंगे इट इज़ अ यूनिवर्सल स्टोरी or uh, it has something for everyone even for the men importantly for the men <laughs> shefali would you like to ask hi vidya this is rajiv here hi it's fabulous to meet hi. you again live yes <laughs> similarly hi rajiv yeah. my question is for both of you shefali and you uh, firstly congrats for the trailer and hope to Thank have you. an equally great film Uh, but i want to know probably correct me if i'm wrong but this is the first time that you are pitted against an equally powerful actor you know female actor so how how did you exactly uh, you know enhance each other's performances both if both of you can answer Shifali. while acting together while doing a scene together well uh, I'd like to say one thing. I mean, I've been very lucky to work with actors who've all been incredible. Um, as far as Vidya is concerned, I admire her and adore her tremendously. And I just, I really wish, uh, when I look at her, you know, there are qualities of her I could be one tenth of it. 
uh, when you have an actor of this caliber opposite you, it only makes you richer as an actor. It helps you grow. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of scenes together, but also Ruxana and Maya don't exactly, they're not exactly in sync. There is a divide between them. And I'm not, I'm not talking about the class or the financial divide. I'm just talking about the way the story pans out. But uh, just the fact that I could be with her uh, and perform alongside her, it, I, it makes me richer as an actor because I feed off actors opposite me and when there's somebody so rich it just makes it I mean it's that's why I go to work I guess I feed off people around me and um, I'm going to take this opportunity to say it's yes you know um, we both are sitting on stage but trust me every single actor in this film is incredible is just something else. I mean, there were scenes I had where I would just be watching the person in front of me. Just amazing, amazing cast and fantastic actors. So I, I, I mean, I think I was just lucky to be surrounded with such rich and intense and immense talent. Thank you for all that you said, Shifali. But I have to say, um, you know, I've also had the good fortune of working with um, actors who brought out the best in me because acting is about reaction, acting is about reacting, but there is only one Shif Ali Shah, you know, and please, that deserves a round of applause. So sweet you are. Every, no, it's true, you know, because I have watched her since I first faced the camera with her in a television show and um, I don't think she remembers, uh, but it was really her scene. We were, you know, a bunch of playing college students uh, this was my first ever TV show and I remember being mesmerized watching her. And since then, everything that she's done, and I can actually enumerate her filmography for you, <laughs> you know, because that's how I've watched her. Like, um, I've admired and loved her forever and it was an absolute honor to be sharing screen space with her. I just hope we get more opportunities because, <laughs> Suresh, you didn't give us enough scenes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but like Shefali also said, this film is wonderful of, uh, is full of wonderful <laughs> um, actors and we can't wait for you to meet each one of them. Um, from the trailer, it looks very interesting. Thank you. Uh, I have a question for two producers, Vikram sir and uh, Manish sir. Uh, Vikram sir, you know, if you look at your filmography, you have backed so many films which are driven by women, it starts right from Girl in the Yellow Boots to Queen, then Kahani, and the list goes on and on. So what are the factors that, you know, attract you or what are the factors that, you know, made you believe in these subjects all throughout and what is the idea behind bifurcating the subjects for theatrical and OTT for you? I miss your uh, first question first. I've never looked at stories as male-centric or female-centric or hero-driven or heroine-driven, I've always looked at them as stories. And if they're compelling, they need to be told. Uh, if you look at the room around us, if you look at your own fraternity, um, we aren't answering questions bases, a question from a female journalist or a male journalist. Life doesn't divide it that way. Uh, I will say this though on record, I have been extremely fortunate and blessed that stories with strong women characters find me and it's not the other way around. So whether it be some of the amazing work that you've uh, noted um, and it is amazingly coincidental and nothing else that our last few years filmography reads like Shakuntala Devi, Durgamati, Sherni, Chori, Jalsa, the show that we are producing is um, uh, called Hush Hush, directed by Tanuja Chandra. A proud fact, we have five directors that happen to be women who are live in our slate at the same time. So um, I'm not governed by different economics of uh, films with women in the lead. I think it's just strong characters backed by great storytellers and partners like Amazon that allow us to do that the work that we do. And uh, there is no filter that we cut through like this. Uh, 
this is our fifth film which will uh, premiere directly on a streaming platform. Coincidentally, all five have been on Amazon Prime Video. Uh, stories find their mediums, just like how they find their, their audience. What better opportunity then to give access to such amazing stories, uh, especially Jalsa by Suresh, that it goes simultaneously to the world. I mean, Vidya and I experienced this in our first such outing in Shakuntala Devi, where all of a sudden we were getting feedback from Poland. Her performance and the film was being raved about by, by audiences in Southeast Asia. So there are films that do tend to, to resonate better on certain mediums of personal consumption or at appointment consumption on the other hand. Uh, the distinction for us is again stories find their mediums. Um, we are, I'm a huge fan of, of uh, theatrical releases. We have a couple of big ones lined up, but uh, I think we like to go where our audience is, and Jalsa is an example of that. And uh, my second question is to Mr. Manish. Uh, so you know, in theatrical medium, we have seen that the content creation uh, for theater, it happens on Friday to Friday basis. Like every Friday, there is a new release. How does it work for OTT platform in terms of having a calendar for the particular month? Like, like what is the strategy of having content that caters to audience in a month? So we look at stories and we look at, you know, finding good stories irrespective of the timing of the story. You know, it's not that we're going to look for, you know, filling a calendar, you know, in the, for theatrical and other mediums like television, you're probably programming for a slot, but for us, we're programming to a consumer that's looking for content that, you know, they can relate to, they can talk about, they hopefully, you know, and, and they hopefully like it. And uh, between, yeah, and, and we serve content in 10 languages, you know, in, in nine Indian languages in English, we've got content across movies and series, we've got stand-up shows, uh, and amongst this variety of content that we offer, I think it's still at the heart of it, it is, you know, finding good stories, whether it comes directly on our service, and we've done that in the pandemic where, you know, it, it's been, the, the endeavor has really been to bring cinema in your living room in a safe manner. Uh, we've premiered over 50 films in the last 18 months and we continue to do films even post theatrical, you know. So between all of that, I think, you know, our heart still lies in, uh, in great stories and we'll find the right time to tell them. But yeah, hopefully they're all just great stories. Hi guys, Shravan from Ismaili here. Uh, so Reza, my question is to you. Uh, yeah on your left oh, side yeah. Uh, first of all, congratulations on the trailer. It looks fab. Thank you. Uh, you worked with Vidya in 2017 uh, on Tumari Sulu. Uh, how is it working with her on Jalsa? And what was that one aspect about Vidya and Shefali that you'd rediscovered while you were shooting for Jalsa? So, uh, working with Vidya in 2017 and and again, working in 2021, it's become even more addictive now. Okay, so that's there. Now let me come to the point that what is the common part into it. In fact, my life ma making this film, I think we started shooting this film in August, July, August. Through and through, I've been surrounded by question mark, all the question marks. Okay, Both of them, to my right and my left, they're exactly question banks. It's like as if you uh, made a mistake by writing a script, the amount of questions they throw at you. <laughs> Coupled with my team, with my DOP and my uh, editor and my associate and everyone, okay, my writer. So I have just been, a barrage of question bank questions have been thrown in. And the best part about working with them is the amount of involvement. See, there was a day I remember that like, um, I was shooting a scene with Rohini ji. Rohini ma'am is here. Please, a big round of applause for Rohini Hatangadi ma'am. She's here. Uh, Three of them were there on the set. And main, I had no other goal that I said, what do I say? How do I even pretend that I'm going to direct them? So I just took a break outside, came back, and I said, all I wanted that day to pass by and say that main, I shouldn't look like a fool. So I got away that day. So that's my thing. I mean, it's absolute pleasure to work with both of them, the amount of involvement that they show. So that's the common point, guys. We'll do the last couple of questions, because as always, we're running short of time. Hello. 
हाय विद्या मैम हाय शिफाली मैम सबसे पहले आपको जलसा के लिए ढेर सारी शुभकामनाएं जैसा कि आपकी फिल्म जलसा होली के मौके पे रिलीज हो रही तो जाहिर सी बात है इस होली पे खूब जलसा ही जलसा होगा मैं तो मैं आप दोनों की इस बार की प्लानिंग के बारे में जानना चाहूँगा होली के क्या कुछ जलसा करने वाली है I have I have a plan for 18 night we are dropping 17 night. night I have a plan मैं 18 तारीख को I am going to sit with popcorn and samosa and malpua and I am मैं picture देखूँगी I swear that is my plan of action मैं कुछ दोस्तों को बुलाऊँगी और हम लोग ज़मीन पे बैठ के picture देखें that's my plan for Holi. And one of the other ones, put a ring on the other side. Yes, okay. It's okay, right? It doesn't matter. I'm just interested in watching the film. No, I really hope it is a celebration. Firstly, we haven't celebrated Holi in two years. So I think this year Holi is going to be big. It's going to be bigger for us because of Jalsa, inshallah. So, yeah, hoping for the best, yeah. I hope it's a true Jalsa in every sense of the word. Uh, hi, this is K.U. from Sinistan. My question is for Vidya ma'am. Firstly, you. it's a fantastic trailer. It's very thrilling. Thank you. And it's a coincidence that the trailer of this thriller is released on the day your iconic thriller Kahani completed 10 years. Yes. So how do you look back at the film? How do you look back at these 10 years of the Porsche Kahani phase? No, honestly, I was doing some interviews when I was told, you know, it's 10 years to Kahani and I couldn't believe it. It feels like yesterday. It's a film that, you know, every film is special to me, but I still remember every single day of shoot on that film. And, uh, you know, I was just telling Vikram, like we were waiting outside, we had a screening uh, at one of the theaters on the day of release, and we were waiting outside uh, for the film to complete so that we could come in and meet real audiences. And 10 years, my God, but that film has given us so much, and we will forever be grateful for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies Hello. and gentlemen. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, okay, you've already yeah. begun. So yeah. that will be our last question for yeah. this session. My question is, hi, uh, Vidya ji. Hi. Shefali ji. Hi. Long time when you entered the uh, stage, you really boosted us yeah. by anchoring after two years we are meeting. Yeah. So my question is that you get yourself molded in every role, whatever role you get, and you really do it well. Today, your Thank style you. statement, you're getting 80s and 90s back in... Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So that's really one thing. And questions to Suresh ji, sir. The poster, what you've shown, uh, Vidya ji's and uh, the Shefali ji's, the, can you elaborate on that poster? What it, it means? 18th March. Mere bhi aise bande mu. So, uh, yeah, there is an incident. I mean, jokes apart, kahani एक इंसिडेंट होती है और वो जैसे मैं उसको हमेशा हाबन स्पोक स्टोरी बोलता हूँ वो सबको एफेक्ट करती है सारे किरदारों को सो दिस पर्टिकुलर पोस्टर इज अ काइंड ऑफ अ मेटाफोरिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन दैट कुछ एक इंसिडेंट होता है वो जो दोनों को एफेक्ट करते हैं और और भी एक्टर्स हैं जिनको जितने कैरेक्टर सबको एफेक्ट करते हैं सो इट्स जस्ट अ मेटाफर फॉर दैट मोर ऑफ इट ओनली वेन यू वॉच द फिल्म एकदम Atra March. <laughs> You've got your blindfolds on till the 18th of March. After that, they will allow you to remove those blindfolds where you can enter the world of Jalsa. Thank you very, very much. A warm round of applause once again to the entire team of Jalsa. Thank you so much for being so patient in answering all these questions. We'll give you a moment for the photo opportunity. I request you to please stand up for a group photo opportunity. Can we uh, take away the chairs, please?
Big round of applause for Surya. Surya, he is in America. Okay, Prabhu. Hi, Surya. Okay, you can continue watching. Okay.